We have this gift, we have our brains, we have, but we should have our hearts. Our hearts are, should be, become more important than our brains. There's also a misconception that we believe that our intellectual strength is coming by this cortex here. It's a part of a logic, but we are a whole body <coughs> sensor for so many other things. Welcome to our workshop. We're in Tamera, Portugal. And this is where we have developed over the last years our Tamera fixed focus solar concentrator. <laughs> so I'll put this piece of aluminium inside. Last weekend we have gathered here in Tamera a group of friends and collaborators and we have demonstrated our first prototype which is standing out there. A solar concentrator that is collecting sunlight in an area of 3.5 square meters and concentrate the sunlight on a focal spot which is very small. And by this we get um, in the focal point a really high temperature around 1300 degrees. This was it, ladies and gentlemen. I think everybody's seen it already now, when we put the tube in the outside. This was... Once, instead of trying to pull the foil with lots of individual screws, each of which has to be exactly the same, and which has to change when the film changes temperature, we have a quite soft tube around the whole of this rigid frame, and that's filled with air. And because of the properties of air, it gives a constant pressure at all points, because that's what air does. I guess at this point I just said, because you are very modest, it's, it's clear. I say, this was his brilliant idea. And as for me, first of all, it's brilliant ideas come in groups of a free lab. If we are not dogmatically coming in and say it must be done like this. We have the ideas, the basic ideas, and different talents. And we have the spirit of joy to do it. Then such things appear. And that is a big thing of, 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 of the free life. Thank you for having had this good idea. <laughs> So I'll put this piece of aluminium inside to take around two minutes to melt. Look, with this simple te technology of just putting a shiny piece of membrane in this case, 
in the right form to concentrate sunlight, we can, we in principle could provide 70% of our, all of humanity industrial needs, energy needs. So this is just something that needs to be done. There's no, there's no, there's no point around it. One minute pizza. And look, we are a small team in the end. We are a small team in the rural Alentejo in Portugal. And we have developed this prototype now that is capable of doing a lot of applications already. Imagine uh, if more and more people go and invest their time and effort, put motivation in this technology, it will be, it, 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 it will just take over. It would, we, we don't need to uh, burn our earth. We just need to harvest the sunlight that is falling down on earth. This is all. There's nothing more we need. We just need to be creative. We need to play. We need to try. So Jürgen's birthday today, so it is really very nice that we have such an abundant and beautiful yes. table. And I wanted to thank you. It's just, uh, really is. It's not uh, flattering. It's the nicest birthday table I ever had. In part. It's the best birthday. <laughs> I'm young, so I can still <laughs> <laughs> I can still have some others, but you cannot top this. Beautiful. Thank you all together. Yeah. Our intention was to give, like we call the Tamera Tapas, to give you a overview of what we produce in Tamera because basically it's all coming from Tamera. Wow. Wow. But of course the highlight of the evening will be the stones <laughs> and we will prepare you still some little things on the stone that you can eat on the side. We couldn't have hoped that it goes any better. Uh, we demonstrated what it can do for now and people were just happy to see it. And uh, there is a big curiosity and a big will to take it on and to bring it out in the world.